Hi, welcome to my podcast, The Happy Hacker with Ambition. Today is Saturday. Um, I had, um, Laura and I had planned for a little hack and then we were going to go out um, to watch some show jumping at Forest Edge Arena. Um, Got to be quite quiet really um, today because uh, Laura is working a night shift tonight and tomorrow night. Um, and she's had a really busy week. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a little update. Um, Laura didn't realise, but it is her birthday next week. And so her partner, Dean, decided that he would take her out today. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of spot of tack cleaning, which might lead you to think, Steffi, why are you doing that? Because you cleaned that after you used them the other day. But I have ridden both my girls um, out for a quick hack that is the first time i have hacked indie out on my own since august last year following the debacle that was me and my fun three-day event when i fell off indie in the woods the next day um when i um uh, took her out on my own um which laura had told me not to do but i did anyway so i thought um I thought, oh, I really want to, I really needed some po quality pony time today. So I thought, I'm just cleaning all my tack now, um, that I would just give it a go. And um, I was having second thoughts about writing um, indie. <laughs> I just, you know, because I am a little bit nervous and I thought, oh, I don't know, you know, is it a good idea? Laura's not here to pick me up. Um, you know is that should i do it or not and then i just thought hmm. and i went in to get indy into the field she flipped and double barreled me little tinker i was so angry with her i went right up to her and i caught her she didn't get me obviously but she just does this little buckaroonie when she thinks she can get away with it in my face and it's just bad manners and it's just it's just her being like me and tim wants to do it and i thought right that's it you're going so um I did the very uh, good rep that Laura has taught all of us to do, to tell them when the ponies know they're in serious trouble and they've done that, so they know they have to stop doing whatever they were doing and behave. And she kind of like looked at me and went, oh, you mean business? And I went, yeah, I mean business. Sorry, I'm just cleaning all my tack. I'm in the other stable, so I'm... Um, and I haven't got my microphone on, so hopefully this is working okay. So, yeah, got her out. She had her ears back. And then she sort of looked at me and tapped her up. And she sort of pulled her face. And <laughs> as she does when she doesn't want to do something, she thinks she can frighten you. And uh, then when she realised we were going out, ears came forward. She stood like an absolute poppet for me to get on. Um, and I dithered a little bit as well because I was like really wanting her to stand square so that she didn't get un she wasn't um unbalanced or anything. She was an absolute pop, it stood like a stood like a rock, absolutely overjoyed with her. Can't tell you how pleased I am. Um so woohoo! So I've just sent I wasn't brave enough to take a picture on her back, I have to say, although I did video me on E key. Uh, and we came out and then um, I've just popped her back into, we only did, um, oh no we did trot actually, we trotted up, um, but I, because I just thought we've got to keep going, moving, um, and that's what we did, so I am really, 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 really pleased with myself, I know now that I've just got to be careful because what she'll do is she'll say, huh, that brave, huh, let's see how brave you are really, um, so really chuffed with myself um but really it's all down to laura who has given me so much more confidence and um i've just got to trust her again before the incident she's never done, she's never put a foot wrong um going out she's never been naughty and i just have to always remember that anyway i am the happy hacker with ambition our ambition next week I'm not sure what we're doing next week um but i'll probably give you an update during the week uh so there will be a part two to this thank you so much for listening
Hi, welcome to my podcast, The Happy Hacker with Ambition. Today is Saturday, a week after the Joyce part, first part of this. Um, I have been out several times with Laura um, and Hector on Indie and was really, really chuffed. But at the back of my mind, um, and Laura said to me, just be careful because I really think... Um, sorry, it's me cleaning my tag because we've been out. Uh, she will try it on with you. And, and today was the day that she tried it on. Um, and uh, it's got to it's got to be nicked in the bud. So um, sat with it, pushed it through. It was all right. Turned, said to Laura and Lucy, I said, right, let's go. We'll go home now. Then um, when we were coming back, and Laura went, well, she's kind of learned that if she does that, she gets a short ride, and her reward is going home. And I went, okay. So I turned Indy round and she went, no, 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 you'll be all right. And I went, no, no, we'll go back. Come on, let's go back. So I went back, um, took her back down the other part of the ride that we shoot, we normally do. And it's fair, it, you know, it's absolute perfect criticism of Laura, of me. Um, that is exactly, and it's learned behaviour with Indy. You fry in somebody, you get what you want, you do your own thing, you don't get ridden. Um, and, you know, you get left to your own devices. But I'm not going to let that happen because she has to be ridden because she needs to be ridden because of her um, issue that she had with laminitis. So I can't allow her to get fat. And the only way I'm going to do that is by riding her. So um, went down, we got, to, we got a bit further and Laura went, hop off. And I thought, oh, no, what have I done now? What have I done now? And she went, come on. And she went, um, I'm going to get on. And um, Laura got on. And um, my stirrups are about four holes too long for Laura because I've got longer legs than Laura. And bless her, she didn't change them, which I think she should have done. And Indy tried it on with her, which is a first. I haven't ever seen her do that. But as we were walking back up from the, um, the wood, Laura said she did do that to her the first time she got on her. Um, when she first brought her back from her sister's for boot camp, you know, to see whether she was going to be okay to do, um, gosh, horse boarding. Um, but Laura said she felt too, too big on her because um, Laura's used to, well, Hector is 15 hands, 15 one, something like that. Um, and Indy is 14 one. So it's a massive difference when you're not used to it. Um, and um, she asked me, she had her up for sale and she asked me whether I would, these people came and, in, and Laura just said, she said, I just knew that Indy was just not going to put up with them. So she said to me, would I like to ride her? And at the time, um, I, I just said, yeah, I'll get on her. I got on her. Um, I really liked her as well. I really enjoyed riding her. Because as Laura said, she said, you know, you're an average happy hacker, which is true. That's exactly what I am. Um, I have got ambition, but I am an average hacker. And um, she said, you know, if, if you can ride her, then, you know, basically anybody can ride her. Um, and that's how I first ended up riding Indy. And then um, really enjoyed riding her, taking her out, doing lots of stuff with her. Um, and then buying her. Uh, and then we had the dreaded laminitis and then everything started to go wrong. Um, so what we did, so yeah, she tried it on with Laura, which I'm overjoyed about because she's never done that before. Uh, she's never ever done that. So what Laura has noticed is that she tilts her head slightly to the right as she does it, as she's about to explode and puts a bum. She said you can feel her sitting further back on your bum, which is true, which, you know, I should have noticed myself, but I haven't. Um, uh, and I said I noticed the tilt, but I'm not quick enough. So she's told me how to correct her. She also says that, you know, Indy's being rude to you, therefore you can be rude back to Indy. Um, and that's where it's got to go, because Indy's got her own way all her life by frightening people and doing what she wants to do um, and that can't go on just can't go on now um, you know I want I want old indie back 
pre-laminitis indie back. That's what I want. I want, uh, well, like, I like the manners, more the manners I've got now, but uh, I don't want that bit of indie back. But what I do want is how she used to behave all the time when we went out. I don't want the silly, grumpy indie that I've got at the moment. Um, that's just not acceptable behaviour. So um, I'm going to have to push through this and um, I'm going to have to just get on with it. So when Laura's not here, I'm just going to have to deal with it um, and just go back. Um, you know, it's ridiculous that before August we didn't have any of this and now suddenly we've got all of this. And it's as if Indy thinks that I'm a different person. I'm not a different person. I don't really care. Now, I'm not... Oh, gosh, there's my microphone coming out. Oops. Are you still there? I hope so. That's me getting that stuff around my um, hat back because I'm hat bag because I'm putting everything away in the locker. Um, you know, I think my attitude's got to change a bit. I've just got to get on it and deal with it. Um, uh, I've got to stop being such a scaredy cat. I've got to, you know, I didn't used to be like this. I don't want to be like this anymore. Um, I've had enough of being like this. Um, and if I can't crack through this, it, you know, you sit there and go, give up. Because this is not me, it's meant to be fun. And I'm getting more and more myself with my knickers in a twist about, oh, what am I doing? Am I going to hurt her? Did I used to worry about that? No. No, I didn't. I just used to get on, I take her somewhere, go and have a bit of fun and just get over it. And that's basically what I've got to go over now. So my plan is... When Laura is at work this week, I will go off and I'm going to book myself a couple of lessons with some other people. Um, and we're just going to ride through it because I can't cope with this anymore. This little pony has just got to buck her ideas up. Um, and so have I. And actually, that's my turning point today. Um, so Laura showed me what to do um, when she does it. Hands down, uh, tilt her down, get her le and leg forward. Now, the good thing is I'm using my legs, which I never used to do. So that is good. Uh, the bad thing is I'm a little bit slow getting things done. So what I will have to do is I'll have to take her out on my own and just get over this and deal with it. Um, and I'm going to have to, if I go to anybody for a lesson, they are going to have to be the kind of person that is Laura, because Laura's got me through it. So I don't want to start there and somebody going, well, what you should be doing, my dear, is doing this. What I want somebody to do is, ride your pony forward, Steph, get over the jump, we'll talk about it afterwards. And, and that's what I want. So um, I think I'm going to go and have a chat to Ali and have a lesson with Ali um, and get her to give me a flat lesson as well. Perfectly happy to do that. It's just down the road. I'll go and do it on my own uh, and we'll take it from there. So, happy hacker with ambition. I kind of feel that today is like a light bulb moment and I have come back to ponies as I used to be. Uh, rode Eek today. Eek was um, actually quite well behaved. A um, little bit heavy in my hands, so I'm actually going to change my bit um, on that I've got. Uh, I'm going to put her back into the grackle because she's crossing her jaw over. Um, and, you know, again... I want a horse light in my hands like she used to be. Um, and I think I've been Namby Pamby for long enough. Uh, so the happy hacker with ambition has suddenly realised that the ambition has, you know, really got to be there now because, you know, I'm running out of time. You know, I'm getting old and I'm running out of time to get this sorted um, and actually progress. Otherwise, I am forever going to be the one at the back going, oh, I'm a bit worried about that. I'm not going to do that anymore because, you know, as I've said before, I wear my body protector now. I wear, I always wear a hat anyway. Um, what is the worst that you happen? You fall off. And I've kind of got to get over that. You fall off. I have fallen off all my riding career and now I've just got to go, so what? And if you're too frightened to get on, it's too frightened to fall off. If you say, 
I can't afford to fall off. You can't afford to get on that horse. So now my attitude is, that's it. We're going for it. I'm doing it. So um, watch this space.